This is TOES training for advanced setup. It's under operations, training, normal operations, training number four. <clears throat> this is going to be something uh, much or, or seldom used, rather, um, but it, it has been an item that has come up a lot or a couple items that have come up a lot, and I think it's important for everybody just to understand what's going on. So whenever you want to go back to the main menu and not like get logged out, you kind of hit that, you hit the toast button at the top left. And uh, this is where you would go to table service or quick order. Uh, we're going to cover that in, uh, in a different training. There's KDS, there's some payment terminal type stuff I'll, I'll do later. And there's some other manager activities in here that you all have access to. Cash drawers and payouts, all that kind of stuff. Reports, uh, my account, all that stuff you can see. But then there's like setup down here. And this is, uh, I'm going to focus really only on the two <clears throat> that I deal with at all, which is tables and device setup. Tables is, is, is pretty nice and simple, and if we move stuff around or someone, uh, call it like permanently changes something <coughs> during the course of an evening, and you want to move a table, or they combine the tables together, um, for instance, and you wanted to like renumber them for, you know, for an evening, um, this is the way that you would do it. If, you're, if it makes your life easier, um, then, then I'm all about it, and I want to give you the tools to be able to, to, to do that easily and quickly. It does need to get reset at the beginning of the night when the tables get reset, and that is part of the opening checklist is that we verify that the tables are back to their normal operation um, setup. I am going to focus on, well, let's go to bar. I talked about this in the first training, and I talked about how small these are specifically. But basically, um, what we could do here is, oh, why? I don't want that. It's kind of hard to see, and I, I'm not 100% sure why, but you could drag. This is so hard to do while I'm watching my phone. Again, I don't know. There we go, finally, I'm sorry. Okay, so I just I just drug something in. Um, in order to uh, to show you how you would quickly add something. Um, size, width, and height, they're all a little confusing. I think size, okay, yeah. Size equally increases the width and the height. Um, width and height obviously change one dimension only. And then the table number is here. If you ever add something, you need to make sure that you're following the appropriate nomenclature. So the bar starts at zero, it's zone zero, and it, it starts at zero, zero, one, it ends at zero, one, two. If you're gonna add a new seat, um, for simplicity, I would just go in order. If there was a larger update that needed to happen, like when COVID ends and we put chairs everywhere on the bar, then I would start over here at 007. I would physically move those down and stack them up and then start adding new ones all the way around the bar. We don't need that one. So I am, uh, goodness gracious. Oh, you just drag it out and you delete it. Okay. These I want to make bigger. Because like I said earlier, they're they're too hard to use. This is not going to be the most beautiful process here, guys. But I think you get the idea. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm not going to save this. I do need to go in and fix this. And I think there's an easier way for me to do it. Um, we're going to go back into tables. And let me just see if I can update something easier a little faster. I do want to update one of these, but I don't want it to look like crap. So I'm going to increase the size just by one. There, it's increased. And what you're going to do then is you're going to hit save. Okay. Okay. So it's saved, but it's not published. Um, there is a quit button at the top. If you do this on the, on the terminal that sits at the bar, but on here you have to go triple dot and then you'd publish the changes. Publish changes. And then basically the screens will refresh. <clears throat> we go back into table service. We go back into bar. Now we're going to find something that's obviously bigger. And it's still, it's a little easier to click, but I think I need to make it one size bigger. They're just, they're, they're too small on this screen. So they just need to be made a little bit bigger and then they'll, and then they'll work a little easier. So that's 
Simply table service, you can move them around um, just like you saw, you just kind of drag and drop like you would anything else. So for device setup, um, this is if you get like an, it seems like with installs, all the information was saved. Um, but this can be um, very important when something isn't working or <clears throat> someone's like, hey, we're getting receipts at both printers, why is that? Well, it goes back to the, it goes back to the device. All the devices are um, they are completely customizable, and that that can make it a little tricky sometimes. You have the device name, which is supposed to match this tag at the top. These tags at the top obviously aren't lasting because we're we're rubbing against them. I will find something better for this. This is kind of important because. Anything in zone um, one and two should print to the right printer, and then anything three, four, and five should print to the, the left printer. But everything gets picked up at the same spot right now, um, and uh, I might try and do it where we put one printer in place, and that makes it a lot easier on everybody. But for right now, that's how it is. It's, it's split, and you can see this right here where the receipt printer, you click on the receipt printer, um, choose a receipt printer, and I've chosen right. Um, and it, it also says has a has a cash drawer, um, and that's just basically selecting. Do you want to use digital receipts? Sometimes when you go in and change one thing, it'll ask you to do more. Um, if we get new devices, they are not set up this way, so you do need to, you know, someone would need to do this. Usually, it would be me, but in in case this, these are the options you need to do. Do you want to allow cash payments on this terminal? Yes, we do want to allow cash payments, which basically means that the computer knows you're taking cash. Um, if you, we said no to this, then you would not be allowed to cash people out from your from your toes go. You would literally have to walk up to the terminal on the bar and then do the cash payment. Open cash drawer. Right now, this is the way that we prefer to do it, is that when you cash it out, it does open the cash drawer and people are trained to leave it open until you come and cash it out. Um, and that's it for those. So let's see here. You can see some of the options that um, actually it just asked me about. Revenue center is um, important for um, for background, but it doesn't matter to anybody right now. Primary service areas, tap room. <clears throat> let's see here, there's a couple. So this is another interesting one. Non-printing prep stations. Select stations that should not print for orders from this device. For example, uh, often a bar terminal may not want to print tickets to the bar station. Um, this is just weird, but even though I selected the right printer as the primary printer, um, if this is not selected, then it'll start printing to the left one as well. And so this is often the thing that has to be um, selected in order to uh, keep that from happening, uh, which it keeps coming up for, for some reason. Let me see here. Here's another really good one, an important one. If your pre-authorization isn't working um, for any card, this is a good place to go checks. I mean, it has the opportunity to get unchecked or with an update or something stupid like that with Toast. So if you're wondering why your pre-authorization isn't working or if your EMV, which is your, your your chip reader, why that's not working, it just may be disabled. And you would come in here um, and, and you would enable it. Um, and those are all of the options that I think really matter in here right now for setup.